All right, this was a very much unplanned review, but since I got in TFC Toys Photron today, unexpectedly, I thought I'd want to take a quick look at them. I've been, you know, interested in this toy throughout its development, but I wasn't sure I was going to get it until last week when it came in stock at Robot Kingdom. And I out of the blue decided to to order it. And I even paid the extra $5 or whatever for EMS shipping and got it today. And well, it looks great. We've got perfect effects, Scouting Force FX set, and TFC Toys Photron. Uh, both little camera transformers, and as is pretty apparent, one is a lot better of a disguise than the other. They're of large size difference as well. Um, might be a little bit hard to compare the two because I've had this one since it came out, what, a year ago or more, and I've had this one for a couple of hours. But let's start with with Photron. He looks pretty convincing as a camera. Um, you know, plenty of paint detail or tampographs, whatever they are, to make it look like a camera. Let's hope that I'm picking it up right. Um, yeah, just lots of little stuff to make it look fairly convincing. Battery cover door, you know, lots of little molded screw screw heads, and um, but immediately you can see kind of the big weakness of this. It does not quite hold together as well as I would like. Um, I don't think I'm putting it together wrong. I think this is the toy. Just some of the little slots and stuff that are supposed to friction together are just... Uh, they don't have any clips really, they just kind of plug into each other and don't grab on as well as I would like. Um, this thing moves, lots of other little things are molded to look like buttons but do nothing. Um, you notice it has attachment points, it actually came with a camera strap so you could I guess wear it around your neck if you wanted. The lens is a nice green color. And the lens even has a expanded out mode if you want to zoom out. I don't know. It doesn't turn. This plugs in straight. You can't. You cannot turn it. But it does have a little button right there. Let's see if the camera picks it up. Oh, it does. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't need light gimmicks in my toys very often. Uh, maybe in their eyes more, but eh, it's got it. I would have preferred they drop that and maybe discount the price 10 bucks, but whatever. So there's the TFC Toys Photron. Perfect effect, scouting force effects. Has a neat little tripod. It has a funny looking LED flash thingy, a very long lens, uh, which can turn. You know, that's all it can do. A uh, little button thing, which is clearly the dude's head. I don't remember if you're supposed to turn it around one way or the other, but there's not really any way to hide that. Except kind of fold it down so you don't quite see his face as much. Um, it, this is clearly less convincing of a camera, though. There's lots of weird lines in it. It also has a problem where it does not quite hold together as snugly as I would like. And yeah, it's not really convincing as a camera. It does have a little viewfinder there. So definitely, if you want something that looks like a camera, the TFC Toys one is the way to go. Um, with this one, the tripod can come off, the flash can come off, and then you get another head. And I guess if you wanted, you could take off the big lens and have a something that looks even less convincing, like a camera. All right, we'll put these in robot mode, and be right back. Really quick, here is a scale shot I forgot to do before I started transforming the scouting force. But there's one of those guys in robot mode, a Star Wars figure, and TFC Toys camera. It's, it's, uh, where's my old camera? I don't have it here, but this is actually quite close in size to the ca the digital camera I have. Um, it's, it's very correct scale for a human. And here they are in robot modes. And the first thing that is probably immediately apparent 
is the size difference. So let's talk about scale. Here is a repaint of a mold that everybody should have at least one of. <clears throat> Classics, the Classic Seeker. Of course, this is the G2 Ramjet version in all its bombastic glory. <clears throat> and you can see that good dude, whose name is Optic Zoom, is roughly about the same height. The other two are a little smaller, and of course the perfect effect ones are tiny. Um, I have just recently seen the first episode of Transformers, the G1 series, and these guys are much closer in scale to a classics figure than is the TFC Toys Photron dudes. Um, all right, enough of you. As tacky as you are. Um, who should we start with? Um... Well, let's start with Photron, because it was the insp the reason I'm doing this review. These are all the extra bits. We've got a piece of nameless camera kibble. Another piece of camera kibble. And a gun. Uh, we'll get to that last. This can be used as a shield on this guy's arm. Notice these two are nearly identical. In fact, the only difference I can see is that that one has the little shield mount point, you know, whatever mode adjust button that is. And it's the thing that spins. It doesn't quite click into place. It sort of friction grabs on and is it's stable. I mean, it doesn't fall off unless I bump it. Um, but so he can have a little shield. That's good, I guess. Um, both of them, or can both of them, I can't remember. Yeah, they both have a little cape thing on the back, Ooh, so he can be Superman, only it's got a strap thingy, which I don't like. I may try and take those off, because that's just annoying. But anyway, with that little button, you can attach this to the back, like so, and he's got a little backpack with... Rotate out guns. And I am blocking all sorts of light here, aren't I? So there we go. He either has a little thing. They don't particularly friction in all that tightly either, except in the upright or storage mode. So I'm probably not going to use it like that ever. The other thing this can do is it's got a little hole in it. If we bring up our nifty LED thing, it has a peg in the back, which is just a little bit too stuck in there. And it can plug right in there. And it holds it even though it seems a little front heavy when it's out in extended mode. You can always. Collapse it if you wanted, or even just do other silly poses with it, halfway folded, whatever. So it's got a stand for their little LED cannon thingy. Oh, look at that. It cannot close when the stand is extended. There we go. Spotlight. So then you can also have three guns. Not a whole lot. That's it. Um, I actually found that these fit a little more snugly than I would like in their fists. Just, I don't know, they need a slight sanding. It barely went in there, actually. It's so tight. But then it's snug and it's not going to fall out. So trade-offs, I guess. This one's a little bit more interesting design. Now this one has a storage space in camera mode that does not work, in my experience. If you see that little tabby thing right there. This is supposed to, and this is unfolded, plug in to that. And it does not stay. Um, it actually looks like either the peg is too big or the inside of that is a little too small. I don't know if you can see it kind of flexing out like I can, uh, but it just, yeah, it doesn't like it. And so you put it in and it just pushes it right back out. So points for conception and loss of points for execution.
This guy, these are pretty nice, decently posable guys. Um, so my joints are really snug, the hip joints, which is nice. I have too many Transformers whose hip joints are too loose. Uh, you know, very good articulation. I love this guy's head sculpt, and I didn't realize I was not on frame at all. And this is the one that these two are both identical, but it's a decent head. I like it. Um, there is no waist joint. Oh, I lie. There is a waist joint. And I guess if you wanted to look up, you could break them in half. So, these two guys, pretty cool. I like them. Optic Zoom. He looks cool, but he has some hella camera kibble. That I don't know really what else to do with. You can kind of fold it down a little bit. So it's kind of... I don't know. So it doesn't make him too back heavy. But he is kind of back heavy. So yeah, I don't know what to do about these panels. The artwork on the card, which kind of has them rotated up, looking like bat wings or a nifty cape, but they do not move as far as I can see. They just are on that little hinge. So they're kind of in the way. This thing is kind of in the way, too. I guess if you leave it out the way it was for and it doesn't grab on as much, but I like the way this guy looks. I like that his chest is different. I like that he's bigger. I really like his head as well. But but the kibble kind of limits his posability a little bit. He, he has a bicep swivel here that again bumps into the his back. Whatever. Anyway, he he has a waist swivel. Um, for transformation, and these wings really get in the way of that. It's I haven't yet figured out the right way to have them posed so that I can swivel that around easily for transformation. So, unfortunately, I think this guy's the weak one of the bunch. Which is too bad, because he's the bigger one and the boss. And I do like that he's bigger. Alright, so that is Photron. Um, I like it. It has a few weaknesses. I'm not upset that I paid for it, or, or that I, I'm glad I got it as soon as I did. They they do look nice. It's just the two smaller guys are going to be a little bit more fun to play with than the big one. Um, look at, let's look at uh, Perfect Effect Scouting Force and all of their extra bits. Three little robot dudes and a bunch of little extra things. I'll maybe move these out of the way so we can see a little better. So, I love that on this Perfect Effect one, everything, every bit of kibble has a use in both robot and camera mode. Everything has a purpose and a function. The little viewfinder that covered his head separates and becomes little shoulder pieces. Uh, let's put it on this guy. No, let's not put it on that guy, actually. And these clip onto his shoulder. And it does not inhibit his armor because it just, the way it clips on, there's two little circular nubs that fit inside of these slightly recessed triangle and square. So they don't inhibit his articulation. That's cool. These guys are cool little posable dudes. Um, I love the ankle rockers. He's got, because it's part of the transformation, he has really a lot of knee bend to it. Yeah, really fun little guys, posability wise. Uh, the base that the three sat on to become a camera stores a knife, which will pop out. We'll try to pop out. It stores a scope and a rifle barrel. And then these fold up and has a little handle. So that somebody, and it's easier to, well, it's easier to take it off when you pop that off, so that uh, somebody can hold it and they have a big shield. It's a little snug fitting onto his hands. Um, those tiny holes are just slightly too tight. <laughs> Yeah, now he's got a shield and it's even got a little viewport. These bits 
Oh, each of the there's three knives because there's three dudes. Each of them has a little uh, holster clip dealy. Little knife. Little holster thing that plugs into there behind. So I can carry a knife behind them. Cool. This opens up. Wait, let's not do that one. Let's do this one. The flash. I love the way this thing assembles. Slides off of this thing. This then can plug into the tripod, which the legs clip together very securely. And there's a little rotating grippy thing there. Plugs into that. Um, plugs into that. There we go. And then it has a little pop-up handle. And that you can either hold it this way, and that's a little targeting thing, because it looks like it's some kind of minigun. I like to hold it underneath. And you can just fold that back up to help hold it on. <clears throat> so there, he's got a minigun and a shield. Cool. And when I do it right, he balances fine because he's got big feet. These can also clip onto shoulders to be some sort of, I don't know, shoulder-mounted rocket pod missile spam dealy. The camera lens opens up. Pop these bits off. And look, there are the other two knives. Pop those out. These plug in quite securely and sometimes are a little bit tight to get out. There we go. Uh, let's put them on this guy. And they clip onto his arm. And they can clip on either way, I think. Come on that way. Little arm shield things. Let's put these on. So far, so good. Everything that we're pulling off, we're being able to use. Then this opens up, and you've got. A neat little storage for the guns. Comes with three identical gun things. We'll give two of them to him to dual wield because that's cool. Again, the posability is quite nice on these, lets you do whatever you want with them in a fun way. The third gun, you can attach a scope to it. Click. And a long rifle barrel. Click, and now you've got a sniper rifle. It looks like even a second grip for it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to turn it. There we go. Yep. Turn his head and look like he's trying to look down. The well, he's looking at least along the line of fire, not down the scope. But And then these, this thing. These are on a little ball joint, and they rotate so that you can plug it into this little piece that is usually folded down after you transform it out of frame and all three of them have that all three of these guys are exactly the same sculpt except for the chest piece on that one and so you can plug this in and boom instant jetpack dealy so now he can fly and rain down death from above
So everything that these guys come with can be used in their robot modes, have a cool functionality, or can pack away and be stored in camera mode. And that is really what makes these guys a little bit cooler, in my opinion, than Photon. A whole lot more accessories, but you can do everything with them. They are just a little bit better than Photron. They're also a little bit cheaper, um, although not a whole lot. And again, in scale with classics, if that matters to you, it really doesn't to me. Uh, so anyway, in closing, there you go. Perfect Effect, Scouting Force, EX, and TFC Toys Photron. I, I recommend both of them, although I do prefer the Perfect Effect.